In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a LUT file using Luminar 4. LUT stands for lookup table, and it's a way to store color and tone information to use in other photos. It's a very versatile type of preset that works in many different photo and video applications, including Luminar. To do this, I'm going to be using the IWL TBAP LUT generator. That's kind of a mouthful. Uh, that acronym actually stands for I would like to be a pony. So if that helps you remember it. Going forward, I'm going to just be referring to it as the LUT generator. The app works in both Mac and Windows. And to get it onto your computer, go to this URL. You'll get to the website. You want to just click Download LUT Generator, and then click Download LUT Generator again. It's going to bring you to a download page. This is a pay what you can type of purchase, so you can get it for free, or you can contribute some to the creator if you would like. Here I have the LUT generator open. I also have a folder with an image inside of it. This same folder with that same image is also mirrored and open inside of Luminar. The first step is to create a hauled file. This file is just an image file. It's a grid with a bunch of color on it, and it's a way to store all of the changes that you'll make, such as tone and color. And then once you've applied those edits to that file, you can convert it into the actual LUT file. So inside of the LUT generator, I'm going to click Generate a Halt. You can put this file wherever you like. Here I'm going to keep it alongside the image I'm going to be working with. So I have that folder open. I'll click Open to add the file. This file is a PNG image file, and you can see it there inside of my folder. And if I go over to Luminar, there it is right next to my image. Now the next step is to actually create the style that I want to turn into a LUT file. I like to do this on an image and then copy the settings over to the hauled file. It's just a much simpler way to work because you can actually see the type of effect you're creating. When you create a LUT file, it doesn't really matter in what program or with what method, you need to make sure that you are only adding global color and tone adjustments. Applications such as Luminar have things like texture overlay and sky replacement, and those types of tools, along with several others, will not work with this setup. I've listed out all of the tools that you can use, and I actually went through and tested every single one of these, so these will work in creating a LUT file. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this image into the edit view. I have it selected, and I'll click edit up at the top. I have made no adjustments to this photo other than some basic cropping, which will not affect anything once I actually copy and paste the edits. So you wanna make sure you're starting kind of with a clean slate. If you have any other adjustments to this image, they will show up inside of your LUT file. So you don't wanna have anything going on. Now I'll go ahead and start making some adjustments. I'm gonna go into the creative category and I'm going to add the matte look. So I'll increase the amount, I'm gonna add some fade, and maybe bring some contrast back. Next, I'm gonna go over to the professional category. I'm gonna add a photo filter. So I'll increase the amount, and I'll change the hue for something a little different. And I'm also going to decrease the saturation of that filter. Next, I'll go into the essentials category. I'm gonna go up to light. I'm gonna click advanced settings, and I'm gonna add a very simple S curve just to add a little bit of brightness and contrast. I'm gonna do a before and after toggle so you can see the results. For this particular image, I think I'm also going to reduce the highlights so I have no bright spots in my preset. Again, I'll do a before and after, and this is the LUT that I'm going to create. Now that I've made all of my adjustments, I need to copy and paste these settings over to that held file. So in my menu at the top, I'm gonna to go up to Edit, Copy, I'm gonna go over to the hauled file. I just double clicked it there. And then I'm gonna to go to edit, paste. And you could see a slight change in the colors in that grid. Now I need to export this hauled file so all of those edits I applied to it are kind of baked into it. So I'm gonna click on the export icon at the top and select export to image. I'll add it into that LUT folder that I have created. I'm also gonna give it a new name and I'll just call this Nicolzi LUT. In the settings at the bottom, I'm gonna make sure I have Sharpen set to None. I wanna make sure that the resize is set to the original size so it doesn't change. I want the color space to be sRGB, 
and I'm going to change my format down to PNG. Then I'll click Save. Now if I go back into that folder, there's that PNG file I just exported. So now I'm going to go over to that LUT generator, and I'll click Convert to Cube. I'm going to choose that PNG file I just exported, and click Open. And here is my LUT file. Now let's preview this LUT file to see how it looks. So here I have Photoshop open on the left, and it's kind of covered because I'm going to add the effect. This is the edit I did inside of Luminar, and I wanted to compare them side by side so you could see how it compares to the edits and the, the tools that I added inside of Luminar. So in Photoshop, I'm going to add the color lookup adjustments. Once I have that tool added, I'm going to go into the properties, and I'm going to load a 3D LUT, and I'm just going to find that cube file that I just created, and click Open. So now you can see side by side that the LUT that I created is identical to the edits that I created inside of Luminar.